Open Drive's philosophy differs from other services presented in this cloud backup or review. As the name suggests, Open Drive wants users to think about their service more, well, let's say as a drive in the cloud than a backup service. And if you're using a Windows computer, for example, Open Drive creates a virtual hard drive in the Explorer where users can essentially drag and drop their files that they want to store in the cloud or essentially back up in the cloud. If you're looking for generally the best cloud backup service for your needs, please do check out my in-depth comparison series where I show you 11 cloud backup services with extensive speed and software tests um, and generally backup performance tests uh, so that you can really find out which is the best solution for your needs. So technically, Open Drive is a combination of an online storage and a backup service, which is one of the reasons I find it an interesting option because files placed inside the drive do not occupy any space on your computer, but you can see them sort of in a familiar um, Windows Explorer atmosphere or Mac Finder atmosphere and file structure. In my tests, uh, OpenDrive transferred files quickly to their cloud at around one megabyte per second. Knowing that users have unlimited storage space, well, they may be tempted to store essentially everything <laughs> inside the, um, the OpenDrive cloud. However, as I always recommend people not to rely on one single cloud, this can be dangerous if you say, okay, I really want to put all my files into the OpenDrive cloud. Because a service can always fail, um, I would never trust one, any, any one service with all my files. It's great for archiving files that are not needed on a frequent basis or that you're just not sure what to do with. Maybe you don't want to delete the file, but you don't want to keep it either. So you could move it just, uh, uh, just to the cloud. So for video producers on a budget, for example, this could be an excellent solution to store some of that raw video mater material in the cloud that they don't uh, want to store at their office or something. Open Drive offers unlimited storage for one machine and is in line with other services offering unlimited cloud backup. However, it is on the expensive side with $12.95 per month, but its unique positioning in the market more as an online storage than a cloud backup service makes it, uh, makes it worth a closer look. Seven days free trial is a bit stingy, so you don't need to hurt. So you need to really hurry if you really want to test this service to its bones. Um, so as usual, let's look at the pros and cons of OpenDrive. One pro is obviously unlimited cloud backup and storage. OpenDrive doesn't limit the uh, file size or the file type that you can upload. Neither do they limit the bandwidth, so you can go full throttle uh, and upload all your files to the OpenDrive cloud. For very sensitive files and projects, OpenDrive gives users a zero-knowledge folder called uh, Secure Files, where the user determines the encryption key. OpenDrive gives you a hard drive in the cloud, as I mentioned before. That means you can drag and drop files into it and essentially free up some hard drive space with it. Under my definition, I mean, other people may have different definitions of that, but this falls under the term online storage and not really cloud backup. Of course, cloud backup is also a type of online storage, but generally what we refer to as online storage is the removing of files off of your hard drive into the cloud without a local copy. So let's look at the cons. When using OpenDrive, you have to remember to turn on the file versions in the settings menu for them to work. You can set a maximum of 99 file versions, but it could be a disaster if you forgot to turn them on because if you don't have them, you cannot revert to a file in the past if you accidentally saved it or whatever. So let's look at the backup process real quick. They can be, it can be initiated basically in two ways. You can either use the OpenDrive app to select a folder to back up to the OpenDrive cloud, or as I said before, you can drag and drop files and folders into the drive in the Windows Explorer or Mac Finder. That, however, is not so recommended if it's a large file because if the connection is interrupted somehow, 
you need to start all over again. The OpenDrive app, on the other hand, is able to pick up where the connection was essentially cut off. For my test folder, I tried it essentially both ways. Either way, I was seeing upload transfer speeds between 2 megabit per second and 5 megabit per second, so a pretty average-ish uh, result. So nothing to get really excited about. Backups can work either with the inclusion or the exclusion principle. What does it mean? Well, you can either exclude certain file types or folders or only tell OpenDrive to include certain types of files or folders. This gives you a lot of flexibility with your backups. Also, OpenDrive allows you to create various backup and synchronization tasks that you can schedule at different times. And um, you could essentially pick a permanent um, backup schedule that runs all the time for important and frequently changed files while relying on less frequent backups for archival purposes. Now, for very sensitive files and projects, OpenDrive gives users a, a so-called zero-knowledge folder that they call secure files, where the user essentially determines the encryption key and all the files you put in there, they will be end-to-end -end encrypted before they're uploaded to the cloud. Note, however, that those files cannot be accessed via the web and only with a personal encryption key. Now, if you forget this key, obviously you will not be able to access those files that you put in there. So keep it in a safe place. OpenDrive differs from traditional cloud backup services like Crash Plan Zools or Backblaze because there is no obvious restore now feature, which underlines the notion that OpenDrive actually doesn't want <laughs> to be a cloud backup solution, but rather focus on file synchronization, online storage, and maybe collaboration. As discussed earlier, OpenDrive embeds as a drive on a user's computer so they get an overview of what files and folders are stored in the cloud without them actually occupying any hard drive space. In case of a hard drive failure, OpenDrive can be reinstalled and then specific folders can be dragged and dropped to the desired location. With my 10 gigabyte test folder, I was able to achieve an average throughput of 11 megabit per second or two hours total transfer time to download back my whole 10 gigabyte test folder. Now, another way to restore files is via a right click from the backup and synchronization task overview pane and select restore from backup. As pointed out in my disadvantages list, there are very few options. Unlike iDrive, for example, I cannot restore to a desired folder path and there are no options for restoring different states of previous files from my backups. OpenDrive, while being on the expensive side, is more than backup and combines file syncing and collaboration features with cloud backup without limitation on the storage space. There are some additional add-ons like something like synchronized notes, but I assume people already have a solution for that and it really, it really wouldn't be something I would use personally. On the other hand, the backup portion on OpenDrive falls a bit short. File versions need to be activated uh, separately in the web app, and there's essentially no way to drill down into um, specific restore options like um, crash plan. For example, restoration not to the local hard drive on your computer, but rather to an external hard drive or even a NAS drive or even an another computer. Um, that's not located uh, inside your house or office. If you're looking for cloud backup only, OpenDrive is, in my opinion, a little too expensive and comes with features you don't really need. If file synchronization and storage is of major concern, then OpenDrive is certainly worth a look because uh, syncs can be customized and scheduled in a very granular way. So, I really hope you liked this video and if you want to know more about cloud backup and essentially how I rate 11 different providers, do check out my, well, I guess 15,000 word comparison article that really goes 
into depth so you can pick the right options for your files, be it your personal files, business files, it really doesn't matter. Also, make sure to subscribe to my channel right here so you don't miss a video. See you in my next one. Bye-bye. Thank you guys for watching my videos. As I've already mentioned, this is a video series of 11 of the best cloud backup services. If you think this provider is something for you, you can sign up for a free trial by clicking the button right here. If you still couldn't decide, make sure to watch my other videos from the playlist and you can access them by clicking on the logos here on this screen or you can check out the links in the description box below. Thank you very much for watching and remember to subscribe.